Hey everyone, I'm Ryan, and today I wanna to show you all a great tool that will make your life on the internet much easier. It's called WordPress. HTML, code, learning new languages, it can all be so complicated, right? WordPress makes creating a website or a blog a breeze. It gets rid of all that complicated internet jargon and gives you all the tools you need to make a website. So today, we're gonna show you how to use WordPress to make your website or blog. WordPress is the most popular website builder on the web. So popular, in fact, that approximately one third of the internet is built on WordPress. Bloggers, small business owners, and Fortune 500 companies use WordPress more than all the other building options combined. You can create any kind of website or blog without code, manuals, or limits. As important as it is to know code in HTML, WordPress breaks that down for you so you don't have to. So, how do you get started? It's as easy as clicking a button. The first and simplest step of your website building journey is registering on WordPress. Once you create your username and password, you'll create a web address. Your web address is essentially the address to your online home, where people online can find you and your content. Now, if you wanna customize your website's address on WordPress, you'll need to register for a plan that lets you. With the right plan, you can even remove the WordPress portion from the web address if you'd like. WordPress has four different plan options, free, personal, premium, and business. Don't worry, every plan has the same basic features, which we'll go over later. But in order to customize your web address, you'll need the personal, business, or premium plan, which unfortunately comes at a price. Once you've registered, created your web address, and chosen a plan, you'll have to get a profile. Go to the upper right hand corner of the screen and click on My Profile to enter and edit the details and upload your very own Gravatar. A Gravatar is a WordPress specific avatar. It's an image that will represent you in the WordPress community. Your site's title, which isn't the same as your web address, will initially be the same as your original username. To change it, simply go to where it says My Sites and then click Customize. There, you'll find the Site Identity button where you can make changes to your site's title, among other things. On the note of customization, your website will be your very own, even with the most basic free plan. You can change the layout of your website or blog on WordPress with any of the four plan options, including the free plan. WordPress provides users with an abundance of different themes to choose from, letting you change the theme of your site or blog whenever you'd like. The customization doesn't stop at themes. You can change individual parts of your site. For example, the header of your site can be customized, with most themes allowing you to change the image being used. This is as easy as going to the My Sites tab on WordPress, then clicking on Customization and selecting Header Image. You can even change the fonts and colors used on the text of your WordPress website using the very same customize button. So Sadly, only users with the premium or business plan can use personal custom fonts and colors, but don't worry, free and personal plan users are still able to customize using the wide variety of font and color options provided by WordPress itself. Once you've created your website or blog, it's time to publish content. WordPress has two different options for publishing, pages and posts. A post is an update to your blog or site. The newest posts will appear at the top of your site and the oldest will appear at the bottom in reverse chronological order. These posts can be shared by users on and off WordPress, commented on, and liked. Oh, and you'll be able to like, comment, and share other WordPress content you see as well. To create a post, just head over to the My Sites button, click on Site, and select Posts. There you'll find the Add New Post button. A page, on the other hand, is on-off type content like the About or Legal Disclaimer page found on your site. <laughs> 
These pages are not meant to be shared socially and not meant to be commented on either. You wouldn't want users to comment on your legal disclaimer page. The difference is that posts are timely and pages are timeless. Creating a page is virtually the same as creating a new post, except you'll click on add new page instead of add new post. Your post should be constantly updated while your pages could be edited pretty infrequently. Pages are hierarchical in nature and can have subpages or child pages within one page. Think of a family tree, but for web pages. Your about page can have subpages to emphasize or reiterate points, for example. Your posts, on the other hand, aren't hierarchical because they're organized by categories and tags. The category and tag organization system is similar to labeling and organizing your music library according to genre. Let's say you're creating a site or blog where you'll be posting movie reviews. The category you choose for the posts could include film or cinema, and even more specifically, independent film. Categories are best for broad groupings like that. Tags, on the other hand, are much more specific topics that you'll want to use to associate content that's related. On the same site or blog that reviews movies, you could use tags like science fiction or horror for your posts. You can even combine categories and tags. The broad category on the post can be film, and you could put more specific tags like romantic comedy and use the names of the actors or the director of the film as tags. Tags are extremely helpful to guide people toward your site or blog. People viewing your post can use the tags to find related posts and content all over WordPress. Adding tags and categories will increase the chance that other WordPress users will see your content. WordPress doesn't only give you a blog or site, it also gives you your reader. Your reader is where WordPress will take you when you log into the site and it's where you can read posts from sites on and off WordPress. You'll be able to customize your reader by following blogs and sites that you like, similar to following different profiles on Instagram or Twitter. When you find something you enjoy reading, you can like it, comment on it, and share it to your own blog or site. That's actually a great way to attract readers to your own blog or site because users will see your presence outside of your own site or blog. You can choose sites or blogs to follow by searching for tags that interest you. If you want to see more content about knitting, for example, search for knitting in the search bar or by clicking on tags, then opening tools, and then add. By clicking follow on that blog or site, it'll appear in your reader and your reader will be constantly updated with posts from that blog or site that you follow. By navigating to right at the right hand corner of your reader, you have the ability to post anything you see in your reader directly to your blog effortlessly. Once you've logged in and WordPress takes you to your reader, you can easily access your dashboard. The dashboard is where you'll create new posts, pages, and even experiment with new themes and create custom menus. From there, you can manage your domain name and web address, as well as your settings, like what you'll share to social media, what you won't, and more. Mastering your reader and your dashboard are the keys to making the most out of WordPress. If you have multiple blogs on one WordPress account, then you can even switch from one to the other using the dashboard to move effortlessly among all of them. As important as it is to know how to code and how to communicate using HTML, WordPress is a handy way to simplify creating your website. Experiment with it. Create blogs and sites and use your reader to follow other blogs. Liking and commenting on other posts will help you build traction for your own blog or site. Don't overlook something as simple as that because it's a valuable networking tool. Get on WordPress and make the best website or blog that you can. You'll find it's as easy as pumpkin pie.